bundle branch block is a situation wherein one of the bundles is unable to transmit electrical impulses. Normally, electrical impulses traveling into the ventricles proceed to the bundle of his on to the left and the right simultaneously, resulting in a narrow QRS complex. When there is a bundle branch block, however, one of the bundles is unable to transmit electrical impulses, resulting in asynchronous depolarization of ventricles. So the major manifestation of the presence of a bundle branch block is going to be a wide QRS complex, more commonly also a notch QRS complex. Although bundle branch block can be recognized by a monitoring lead such as lead 1, lead 2, and lead 3, identification of which bundle is blocked is going to be difficult utilizing just a monitoring lead. In order to differentiate the right and left bundle branch block, a 12 lead electrocardiogram needs to be obtained. Let's differentiate normal conduction and conduction to the ventricles when there is a bundle branch block. So if this were the AV node and then the bundle of His, we all know that the bundle of His splits into the right bundle as well as into the left bundle. The left bundle having two fascicles, the anterior fascicle and the posterior fascicle. Supraventricular impulses will therefore travel into the AV node normally and then on to the bundle of his and simultaneously the electrical impulses moves to the right and the left ventricle resulting in a synchronous depolarization so let's say again that this is the AV node and the bundle, bundle of His, and then the right bundle and the left bundle. Let's say now that there is a condition wherein impulses are unable to move to this area because of a block. This would be called a right bundle branch block. And whenever there is a right bundle branch block, the movement of electrical impulses will occur this way. Impulses coming from the supraventricular areas will now travel into the bundle of His. And the, from the bundle of His, there's going to be a simultaneous movement of electrical current to the right bundle and the left bundle. As you can see in the illustration, the impulse going into the right bundle is unable to move forward and meanwhile the impulses traveling into the left bundle causes the depolarization of the left ventricle. In order to depolarize the rest of the ventricles, the impulses from the left side will now have to travel to muscle mass in order to depolarize the rest of the ventricles, particularly the right ventricle. This results in a slowing of the impulses traveling into the ventricles, causing a wide QRS complex. So the hallmark of a bundle branch block, or the presence of a block in any of these bundles, is going to be a wide QRS complex, a QRS that measures more than 0.12 seconds. So the identifying features of a bundle branch block are the following. The rhythm could be regular or irregular because it could occur with sinus rhythms or it could also occur with atrial fibrillation. The rate will be dependent on the underlying rhythm. P waves and the PR intervals should not be affected, but the QRS complex is going to be wide. It's going to be 0.12 seconds or more, and this is the hallmark of a bundle branch block. Let's analyze this ECG. The rhythm is regular, the rate 180, the P waves are present and normal, the PR intervals appear to be consistent, and the QRS complex looks like it's notched, and in addition to that, if we measure the QRS complex, it looks like it's very wide because of the notching that is present. And in measuring it, we see that the QRS complex is three boxes, so that's 0.12 seconds, which would be abnormal. Note also the notching of the QRS complex. Right bundle branch block can occur with no underlying heart disease. It also is a finding that accompanies acute MI. Left bundle branch block is less common than right bundle branch block. It usually is associated with aging and therefore will be manifest in their elderly. It is also present as a manifestation of hypertensive heart disease. And it could also be 
a complication associated with a myocardial infarction. Both right bundle branch block and left bundle branch block may be temporary or chronic. There's no specific treatment for bundle branch block. In the event that the bundle branch block is accompanied by AV block, then cardiac pacing might be necessary. That ends our discussion on bundle branch problems. <laughs>